Welcome to State of Tech. Let's take a look at how to change your wallpapers on the iPhone SE. Now there's a couple ways of doing it and I'm going to go through each one of those. First of all, we're going to open up the settings and we're going to swipe down until we see wallpaper. So once I tap in there, I get a preview of the wallpapers that I currently have set up on my device. So what I can do now is actually tap on the wallpaper. So if I tap on my lock screen, for example, it's going to give me options to resize it. I can choose to have it be a still or a perspective. Now perspective kind of gives it a 3D motion. All I'm doing right now is kind of rotating my device around, shaking it, and you can see the wallpaper is moving. But if I set still, what it's going to do is just lock the wallpaper into place and then it's no longer going to move. And I can choose this for both the actual lock screen and the home screen. I can choose between still and perspective. So right now you see that perspective is on, it's kind of moving, still will lock that wallpaper down. And that is how you adjust the wallpapers that you currently have set. And notice down below that you'll notice dynamic wallpaper and perspective zoom are disabled when low power mode is on. So what we're gonna do now is actually choose a new wallpaper. So tap choose new wallpaper. At the top of the screen we see our built-in wallpapers. We have dynamic, which kind of is a little bit of a motion effect. This can be kind of cool. So if you tap in here, you're going to notice we start out with a blank screen. And as time progresses, we're going to see these actual kind of uh, bubbles appear on our screen. And it's also very dynamic. So as we move our device around, we can see more uh, kind of circle bubbles appear across the screen. And this will just kind of appear over time and then we'll move around. And there are some different colors that we can choose from. So you see if I choose this red one, it gives me the red. It's the same animation as before, except everything is now just in a red hue. So those are your dynamic wallpapers. If I choose my stills, these are just still images that are built into the phone. And I can swipe through and view all of these. Now if I tap on one, there's no resizing options. All I can do is either choose still or perspective. So just as we did earlier, we have the perspective which allows us to move and the still will lock the image down into an actual non-movable image. Now those are just the built-in wallpapers. Now we can actually choose a wallpaper from our photo library, our camera roll. So here down below I have all my photos. If I tap into here, I can choose a photo that I've taken. So let's just go ahead and tap on this one. So now what I can do is drag the image around my screen and move it however I want to. Now if I shrink it down to where it no longer fills the perspective area, it's going to change the image to a still. Now notice if I choose perspective on this one, it kind of zooms the image in. And then if I move my device around, I can see that the image itself moves around as well. And if I choose still, I can actually shrink the image down a little bit more and get more of the image on the screen, but the image isn't going to move around whenever I move my phone. So now if I tap set, it's going to give me the option to choose for my lock screen, home screen, or I can set as both. So setting as both will set it as both my lock screen and home screen. So now if I come back out to my phone, notice the home screen now has my lovely face over it, my device and un unlock it. Notice that my face is now here on the lock screen. When I come into my phone, same picture. Now another way of changing your wallpaper to a photo that you've taken is actually come into your photos. You can choose from any one of your albums and then you'll be able to select a photo that you want. So now if I tap on this one, if I tap the share button in the bottom left hand corner, I can actually swipe through the menu down here in the bottom and then choose use as wallpaper. That will give me the same option I had earlier, so I can choose still or perspective. I have the same options I had earlier. I can choose to pinch to zoom in, I can zoom out, set it as still, set it as perspective, whatever I want to. And once I tap set, I can choose lock screen, home screen, or both. So now that I choose lock screen, I have two different wallpapers. So the wallpaper on the home screen is one picture and my lock screen is an entirely different image. So this is the way of customizing your wallpapers on the iPhone SE. And for more tips, be sure and subscribe to Sata Tech and we'll see you in the next video.